right? So, so what is the so, ultimate reality then? Why why is there something rather than nothing, right? Correct. And, and I will I will not. Uh, but, but, well, because the the answer has to be articulated deeply and widely, and, and has to take on a lot of skepticism and address it. Sort of so it, it it's a full fifty page chapter uh, in in the novel. Sort so of, so I won't do you think there is a reason? Do you do you think do you believe there is a reason why there is something and not nothing? No, 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 no. In 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 my the the thing is when we say everything has a cause and an if uh, every effect has a cause, right? It, it is a very natural prejudice that we have, and and we've seen over the years that that prejudice holds true in a large number of cases, but there are also cases where there is no reason when you have. Quantum fluctuations. There is no reason behind it that no we, that we know of, right? Sort of. So it, it's even in the question, why is there something rather than nothing? There is a prejudice built in that somehow the nothingness is a simpler state of affairs, right? And we have to be aware of the biases that go into questions. Sort of. So so the answer that I have, it's it's not going to hinge on semantics. In fact, my answer is no. If it just says, "Oh, it's a it's an ill-posed question," then I feel that's kind of a cheating sort of. So my answer is really, but it's on the opposite end of the spectrum, which says that actually nothingness is a very special state of affairs, and I should be surprised if if there was nothing rather than something. Indeed, what what needs to happen is that everything that is possible or even impossible has to exist in some form of the other. and what you are seeing is a very minuscule sliver based on the restrictions that your patterns have put on you 